Good luck today. On to Zodiac for a game Please or two. Demise. What are you playing against right now, Alex? Wait, I don't know. Night. Oh, he summoned Megalos, Megalos Smasher X. Thought it was Eldritch, but he has Megalos Smasher X and five face down. Oh, Pale and he discarded Paleozoic. Interesting. Uh, okay. Pretty good opening. I think because we have the Monster Reborn, we're just gonna full commit to the, uh, the one play. We'll see, though. If we get Max Heat or something here. Um, nope. He has literally nothing. Might have Nibiru. But sometimes you just gotta see if they have it, you know? Yep, it's exactly what I'm going for, Riku. Yeah. Gonna make the Draco Future play. Basically, you get to use your Dryden to uh, extend into like more Xyz monsters. Um, Chalk and Iron effect is not once per turn, so we are able to Tiger Mortar re-equip to get a special summon back. Uh, we don't have a Whip Tail, so we're just going to summon the Ram here. Yeah, we're just going to summon the Ram. Better for floating back into stuff. Um, has this been more than five? Surely on the ram, it's at least five. I'm pretty sure he just doesn't have the Zeus at this point. Or not the Zeus, the uh, Nibiru. Yeah, yeah. You know what's disgusting? Huh. Um, I can activate Ugarda on the field and then tribute itself so, while Skill Drain's active. <laughs> Get the Banish? Uh, yeah. Ugarda's the Banish one, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. Inherent outs to skill drain are really nice to have in your deck, man. Oh yeah, dude, it's fucking beautiful. Like, think of it this way. I can have my generators on board while skill drain is active. All I have to do is tribute themselves when I activate their effects, and they go through. Mm. Yeah, it's the same for prank kids. That's why they play that card too. It's because all their stuff tributes as a cost to activate their effects. Mm -hmm. um, which is pretty good. He's waiting, he wasn't waiting for you. Hmm. I don't like this, but we're gonna see if we force him to have it. What could you have here? Twin Twister. Palmerization? Hey, what is this man playing? <laughs> Can we just let the judgment die? I should have probably set the chalice there. Because then I could have just chaliced this instead of using the Utopic Draco Future on it. And then the twin doesn't. He rips the twin. We negate the twin and we have the negate still. He's playing Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Oh no. Oh, but he just didn't draw it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> if he just had it, we were we were done. <laughs> if he just had it, we were done. Um, 3K, 14. Oh yeah, this is the same breakpoint as uh. He he's playing um he's playing, uh he's playing blue eyes chaos max dragon turbo. So like it's a blue eyes deck, and then the Manju he searches for either the ritual uh or the ritual spell. Or like he searches advanced ritual art so that he can uh, he can summon Chaos Max Dragon. And Chaos Max Dragon is a 4K, 4, I think 4K zero can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects, and um, it inflicts double piercing when it attacks. It's just a big dumb monster um, that you can just randomly lose to if you don't know what you're playing against because it can't be targeted or destroyed. Uh, we are going to special the chalk over the ram. I. Oh my goodness, I'm just clicking. So we're going to summon the chalk over the ram. No, I don't want to select more material. That's what happened, okay. 
So, um, here we're just, we're not going to do anything fancy. Um, this is the, basically the damage breakpoint for Zodiac. If you have a 3000 attack body plus, uh, I think it's 1100 or more damage, then, uh, being able to chalk summon back blade and then go into B is just game. So this is the same as I think the damage, uh, breakpoint combo I have on my channel. Um, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's good to know that if you have a 3000 attack monster that sticks, then, you know, a whip tail, a monster you stole, whatever, gets you straight to lethal. Um, pretty good. Mm -hmm. And this is all, uh, this is actually all, I think I don't mention it in the video, but this is all within four summons. Uh, the summon of chalk and then into this. Uh, I think we only did three summons here. So it plays around Nibiru too. If you don't, um... If you don't have the zoo monster, it's still or if you if you, the monster's not already on the board, it still plays through Nibiru too. Or plays around, not plays through. But yeah, that's why Draco Future is really nice because if it sticks on the board, it's so much easier to go for lethal. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is. I like summon. Lo okay, he has Gold Drain. I top deck Lopter. Mm -hmm. I summoned it. I'm like, alright, alright, as soon as he draws, I'm just bringing out a Garda, tribute it, get rid of the skill drain, and then activate Lofter to get hard. I don't know what any of your cards do, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> we'll have to, oh, banished, you'll have to walk I, me through it someday. I banished one and summoned an Omni Negate. That's pretty good. Under skill drain. I understand that one a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Can you uh can you summon your big um generators back from your grave with the effect of boss stage or is it only from deck? It's only from deck. Mm. But, um it's second effect that summons tokens yeah. activates when you special summon a generator on their turn. It doesn't matter from where. But boss stage also summons a generator from deck on your yeah, opponent's turn. Yeah. So how do you get your generators back into rotation then? Um so you so basically you just bring out a whole bunch oh he's playing tri brigade this uh playing just got i had a terrible here. uh record against literalist but uh, anyways you basically just run too hard mm -hmm. bring out the first one and then after after you bring harder and you use lofter you just bring out you just spam the board with as many as you can with different effects right mm -hmm. that can interrupt your opponent and then when you want to you're done and you go through your like list of monsters mm -hmm. you just summon hella and then summon them from the grave and if you want to go further than that, uh, before you summon Hella, you can summon, you can use two to level nine to get nine lives cat, and um, nine lives cat to special summon any level nine from your grave, which will be uh, I think nine lives cat makes him untargetable too. So, anyways, yeah, yeah it's rough to get him okay. back in rotation. The other solution I found was punishment, send Omega Psylord, and then Psylord effect to recycle oh, a monster. That's interesting. I guess boss stage is really scary, but it sounds like past turn four. No, it's pretty good. You, you know, you 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 run it with invocation and dogmatica, uh -huh. so you have like a, a meaningful normal summon. And then um, if your opponent just activates max C, that's okay. You just activate boss stage and pass. Okay. Oh yeah, for uh, those watching right now, I'm about to get very fun dragon. Uh, he's gonna summon true king of all calamities, and I'm just not gonna be able to play the game. But maybe if we're lucky. He doesn't activate it during standby, and I draw a kaiju, and then we win the game. But that's a very specific thing to draw, so we'll see. But yeah, Alex, you'll have to you'll have to show me that deck sometimes. Like I, I wanna, I wanna learn what the cards do better because I feel like if I run into it, I'll just be sitting there reading for hours trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, you definitely are, dude. You're gonna be reading <laughs> paragraphs. Okay, so what this does. <laughs> And your, your opponent's going to activate a generator effect, and then you'll mm -hmm. chain, and then there'll be boss room, and you're like, what the? Yeah, the <laughs> boss room uh, changes the effect of both players' draw a card, right? No, it just changes whoever, uh, whoever, the, it just changes the card that's responding to your generator effect to, to both draw one. Yeah, yeah, that. Oh, okay, that's what you meant, my bad. I think, yeah. meant, I think it meant it changes both players' effect. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. It's like a Durendal effect, where it, like, changes what the effect is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very fun dragon, wow. So, uh, thankfully, here's the Chuche. Chuche. Look a moon. The Chuche set up. 
He has a stacked grave. No Shen Shen. So the until best of three formats come to the game, dude. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't think there'll be too many best of three formats. So, um, I think there might be in tournaments, but or like or it, least, privately run tournaments. Future. But yeah, it'll it might or be a future one day. I don't know, yeah. yeah, I have yeah. a feeling it's gonna be best of ones on the ladder. Just like, dude, best of threes takes so long. I guess you're right. Yeah. Or, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe like special tournament modes they'll make where they have that, but other than that, I, it's it's such a long. So this is a rough matchup. Very, he's gonna very fun dragon me, and uh, basically all I'm gonna be able to do is go into Dryden and pass, um, which might just get Chuche popped at the end of my turn. But like, really, what can you do about it? I'll be able to strike something valuable, and I have the Book of Moon, so I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> How big is all of his stuff? The Shen Shen's gonna float back too. That's rough. Shen Shen is so good, man. Alright, our only options really make Dryden pass. So that's what we're gonna do. Not gonna overcommit resources, not gonna overcommit names. Oh, oh, oh. He's probably gonna Chuche pop this. I hope he doesn't. But he probably will. Nice. Alright. Let's see what he has for the next turn. I don't... Did he Nyan Nyan add back... Um, add back his Hime at the end of the turn? No, he didn't. Okay. This might be winnable. Oh no, my Dryden. Who could have seen this happen? Coming. Not me. The Shen Shen is going to turn back on the Chuche though. Which kind of sucks. Kowloon, this doesn't do anything in Grave. Oh, he has the Hime. I just have to strike that. This puts me at just enough to where when he summon switches, summons QB, switches this to attack position, summons anything else, I can book the Calamities and then still live. But it's rough. It's rough out here. We'll see. Oh, he's got the Lao Lao too. That's not great. If he can make anything that can pop our back row, which he should be able to with the Lao Lao. Lao Lao special summons one back, right? Yeah. Does he have any sixes already? He has another Lao Lao. Oh, Lao Lao can summon Lao Lao too. That's rough. He summoned Gigi. Okay. He's gonna go for a nine? He doesn't have a two chain graveyard to modify levels. I don't know what he's trying to do here, actually. He feels this activating, so I wonder what he thinks it is. Like, it could be a Chalice, it could be like an MST. Although he's probably guessing if it was MST, I would have MST'd the Chuche. He's gonna King Long effect. Add one, dump one. Oh yeah. Wait, that means I just lose. What did he add? Lily? I think we're I think we're still okay. This is not lethal. And the thing is we can play around the Chuche because we have the uh, Ram Ram. Yeah, we can play around the Chuche. Okay. Now we just kind of wait. It's like this is a big part of playing this deck is you just kind of wait see what happens. Um
I forgot this was in the game. I forgot about this card. Oh, yes! He switched the true king to attack position. Mm. Perfect. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Now, because it switched its position this turn, when we book it, it can't flip back up. So this is a huge waste on his part. I think we might... I actually don't know what extenders he has. Has he... Has he Lili this turn? Reveal, Lili, sends. Yeah, he has. No, 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 he sent Lili. Add Lili, reveal hand, send Lili. Banish Lili. So he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. What does this do? One monster, the banished monster to the owner's graveyard. He's got so many banished cards, man. Alright. Alright, we're not dead. We're not dead. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Okay. It's actually pretty good. Alright, Chuche pop this. If he uses Chuche now, we're in a really good spot. This is once per turn, right? What, Chuche? Each effect once per turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're chilling. I don't know if you're still in here, Riku, but this is kind of how you play the deck. You punish your opponent's misplays, and you just do what you can to stay in it. Because the longer you play the game, the more likely that your opponent is to misplay. We're gonna be super greedy here. We're all ending on the Zeus. We should have probably done this when we attacked directly to hit for 2800 damage instead of 400. Um, but it's okay. This allows us to double Zeus on his turn. Mm -hmm. And we still have a good amount of Zoo cards that we can draw into, I think 10 total. Yeah, we still have 10 zoo cards we can draw. Let me judgment anything that stops the Zeus. So he needs exactly Kaiju here. Chen Chen doesn't cut it. Here's another Zhuan Wu, right? Nope. Oh, but the Shenshin lets him put a card back on the field. But we can Judgment a Summon. Which is, I think, what we're going to do. We're going to let him commit his cards and then Judgment the Summon. Not of uh, Shenshin, but of whatever he summons after Shenshin. Like uh, Xyz or Synchro.
It's really bad that I didn't attack for 28. It means I might not be able to close this game out if I draw a zoo. Um, 28, 12, 25, 27, 3k, 57, 28. Yeah, that, that was that was actually really important. Shoot. I wish I had thought to commit to that earlier on. But he might just be sitting here wasting resources for a while, so we might be okay. Yep, okay. And now we just sit back and chill. He can Shen Shen once more? Twice more? Twice more. Okay. And we don't have the cards to strike him, so we're just not going to set it. So worth, it's a worthwhile trade. It's kind of rough, but he's pretty close to being out of resources, I think. Set one and pass. Okay. Shen Shen. Damn. That was uh, kind of a waste. Probably doesn't really know how my deck works, so he doesn't know that it's hard for me to go for lethal here. But I am not complaining, because this means that he can Shen Shen one less time. We're chilling. I feel like most of his resources must be gone by now. I still have plenty of mine. Any zoo monster lets me establish Dryden again. Yeah, we just kind of kick back. Okay, he didn't want to Shen Shen. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> See if he has the Ash for this. He does. Okay. We're still back to just chilling. <laughs> Maxi. That's funny. Uh, now he's got two more Shen Shens, though, or another Shen Shen off of that. It's kind of annoying. Why would you set this? Dump Kowloon? Kowloon does nothing here though.
I'm just gonna let him burn his resources. Which is another Lili, okay. Dumps the Lili, okay. He might be trying to deck out faster, you never know. <clears throat> Ooh, it was a Zhuan Wu. All right, we need to draw some zoo monsters, but at least now we can start putting pressure on him. Well, that card is banned, bro. I wish, I wish we had it, but uh, yeah, Tri Brigade uh, said no. Um, we're not allowed to have nice zoo cards because of Tri Brigade. If we draw a zoo monster, it's game. Oh, it's actually not because of the Zhuan Wu. Oh, during your main phase. Okay. So actually, yeah, if we do, it is game. So we're just, uh, we're top decking one of nine at this point. Mm -hmm. So nine and 31. Not bad odds. Or I could draw a Pot of Desires. And then banish all nine of my zoo monsters and be uh, in a real awkward spot. Oh, he commits the Zhuanu here. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Chuche, manipulate. I'm gonna turn my toggle to on. I wanna see what he's trying to do. Drop it to level six. I'm just gonna Zeus. I don't know what um, the rank six does. I, I think I could have Zeused after he summoned it, but I just didn't want to risk it. Oh, and we drew a zoo. GG's, buddy. That was a long game. GG's, GG's. Nice. Yep, and now since we drew a zoo, we can set up our Dryden. So we still have an interruption on his turn, even though our uh, Divine Arsenal is chilling. Because we get the Tiger re equipped to the Dryden. Photon Strike Bouncer? Oh, maybe. Yeah, because that would just negate my Zeus, wouldn't it? No, it's a good thing I did it before then. Because, um... Oh, Strike Bouncer burns too, doesn't it? So I would have just lost the game if he was able to summon Strike Bouncer. Well, I wouldn't have lost the game because I... Hmm. Yeah, Strike Bouncer would have been really bad for me. Um, Would have been really bad for me. But we're in an okay spot. GG's, man. GG's. No, he didn't. He was probably counting on me uh, once he summons the Strike Bouncer, counting on me to activate the effect. Um, let me look this up. Let me activate this up. Yeah, <laughs> that would have been <laughs> oh, a heck of a way to lose that game. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so I guess he can't out the Zeus. Um, so I just battle face clear it on the next turn, and I still have a Zeus, but I have a Zoo in hand for the follow-up. 
Yeah. Josh is proud of that victory. <laughs>